Now to another KRDO 13 investigates update. A suspect arrested after a car chase. An hours long manhunt in Canyon City is back on the streets. Now police are seeking him again. KRDO 13 investigator Sean Rice is live after speaking with the crime victim who is upset with the 19 year old who was able to get out of jail so quickly this past weekend. Sean. Yeah, Rob, at the time of Jordan Ziegler's arrest in Canyon City on Sunday, he was wanted here in Pueblo on stalking charges. Now, as police search for him again tonight, the victim in that stalking case is speaking out against the judge who allowed Ziegler back on the streets this week. It's impacted my life a lot, not only for my safety, but my child's safety. This woman, who wishes to remain anonymous out of fear for her safety, is speaking out to Cardio 13 Investigates. She's the victim in a stalking case. Court records say 19-year-old Jordan Ziegler slashed her tires and sent her threatening text messages last fall. Arrest records say on October 29th, Ziegler texted the woman saying, quote, I'm really thinking about killing you. Canyon City Police arrested Ziegler late Sunday evening after a high-speed chase that stretched from Pueblo to Canyon City. Police arrested Ziegler after a seven-hour manhunt for him and his friend who was driving the car. At the time of his arrest, Ziegler was also wanted here in Pueblo on that stalking charge, and he appeared in front of Judge Stephen Lehman. Lehman gave Ziegler a personal recognizance bond, which means he didn't have to pay any money to get out of jail. Part of my language, I think, is b that's what I think. I think that giving him a little slap on the wrist and not, you know, making him accountable for what he's been doing, not only to everybody else, but to myself and the community. And then just for you guys to let him off, like, that's uncalled for. Court records show Judge Lehman's decision went against what the district attorney's office was requesting. DA Jeff Chosner's office asked for the highest possible bond for his charges, and instead, the judge went with the lowest. Officers are now actively looking for Ziegler once again tonight. Just yesterday, Pueblo police issued a warrant for his arrest for an alleged robbery and car theft. Tonight, Ziegler's attorney has not responded to our request for comment. As for Judge Stephen Lehman, he too has declined to provide an explanation on his bond decision in this case, citing the Judicial Code of Professional Conduct for judges, which bars them from speaking publicly on open cases. Reporting live outside the Dennis Mays Judicial Building in Pueblo, Sean Rice, KRDO 13 Investigates. Sean, thank you.